just having a little pit stop here and this is an ecology center just down over on this side some kind of a research center or something but uh, see people walking across that br bridge every once in a while and that's where we're going to be heading is down that part of the river there and there's my wife taking pictures of me and whatever else and this is the canoe we're in right here that's where we came from so I'm going to give you a little better view of the place that we're staying at after we back up but right now I'm on coffee break just right here alongside the edge and this is one of the low sides right here it's pretty high over on the other side and farther along here too especially down farther over there yeah right there there's a pretty high edge right there all right I'm just gonna back this rig up my wife's on camera she's taking a little break from uh, paddling so I guess it's up to me from here um, over behind us there you'll see where there's a dock back behind me that's the dock where we came from and that's where our cabin is that we're staying at along the Mattawa River here and we're going upstream right now The way home should be a nice trip. Beautiful river. They say it's 140 feet deep in some places here. Everybody laugh at me about my paddling skills here. I'm not the greatest canoeer in the world. I've probably only done this. Actually, this is the only place I've ever went canoeing is on this river. What better place? Okay, where you see those trees coming together down at the far end? That's where we're headed to, and there's a cold springs down there. And I think my wife is going to have to start paddling along with me here because I'm hitting some current right now. So we'll be back with you shortly. Okay, in reference to where we were before, that's uh, where the dock is way down there. And I just wanted to give you a shot of all these rocky sides over here. This is just awesome. Look at those big ledges and they got trees growing right out of the rocks. just amazing so yeah now we're this much closer to where we're going which is just on the other side of that uh, narrow point right there where the trees come together it's still a little ways to go I think we're probably about two miles out by now already and about an hour and a half of paddling and that got around that bend over there which is the last place where the trees came together and now we're on to the next one right up there anyway taking a break taking a break along the rocks here again all right cold springs are about a half hour away from here and we got one more little watercraft out here so we're on our way 
Okay, we're uh, pretty much just drifting here. I'm making my wife do the steering here now, I guess, because I got my ca camera in my hand. And there's some people already over here by the cold springs, and they've been out swimming. It's got to be freezing in there. But this portion here used to be a little beach area, and, well, mostly sand. And I think with all the rains we've had in Canada this year, I think that's all flooded out over here. And I don't want to go too close to the edge because we may get hung up. So we're going to head over towards where the spring starts over here. Those are the people that were here when we got here, and they're just leaving now. There's that little rock that we had to pass in order to get here. Right down in between there. Yeah. And this is the shoreline right here. Back this way, That this used to be a little beachy area right here. But this year it's underwater, which is okay. And this water here is icy, icy cold. Right here where I'm walking, this is extremely cold. And if I walk over to there, oh, I'd say about 10, 15 feet over. Start getting into the river water right here where it uh, starts getting a little bit deeper. And right about here, yeah, it starts getting warm. Over there, ice cold. Right here, warm. And if you can see all that glittery stuff in the uh, water, that is pool gold. Genuine pool gold. All over the place up here. Look at this, right there. Maybe you can get a good view of it there. I can see it, I hope you can. There's little puddles of it. It's all over. On the sand. And that's the way to the cold springs right there. Got to walk right through that cold, cold, cold water. Eesh. We got a lot of rain this weekend already, so it's flowing like crazy. And that is just freezer water up there. You can feel the chill in the air already. Wow. Here comes Pokey. Okay, you can hear the waterfalls from here. And we're just on our way out, back in the canoe. Heading for that center rock right there, and it's going to be a little long ways home, but we're with the current this time, at least anyway. Get back to you. Okay, just taking another break, and on our way back, our brakes are going to be on the fly because we don't have to worry about drifting backwards. We're heading in the right direction. If you keep watching the shore along the side of us here, we are definitely moving in the right direction. So, boat's moving slow. And start paddling a little bit. And we're going to head towards those rocks if I don't steer soon. So, I'll be back with you when we get a little farther. Okay, I'd say we've probably went at least a mile and a half by now already. That's way back there is where we came from. Yeah, that's way back. Our destination is straight ahead over there. A little ways to go yet. You're doing a fine job of steering it. Look at me being lazy, making my wife paddle. <laughs> Slave driver, huh? Alrighty, there's the rocks right there again. And there's that bridge by the Ecology Center. That means we's almost back. And I guess I better steer again. My wife's getting turned around. And she's going the other way now again. We're heading for 
that dock right there with a the yellow ladder on it. Believe it or not, that is where we're headed. I'm trying to, as soon as I get steering again. So we're on our way over there.